Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 29 of my Don't Starve Let's Play. In the last episode, a lot happened. We cleared up the adventure mode portal, we killed, uh, hound we killed a hound attack, we killed the walruses. There was a walrus camp, and they kind of just like attacked us, and I'm like, not today! And I just put on a football helmet and a log suit, and like, no problem. Like, it was a joke. It was awesome. So we took care of them without issue. Then we came back home, and the beefalo were getting attacked by penguins. Actually, the beefalo were attacking the penguins because it was mating season, and they're pissy. Uh, there was like 14 penguins, so the three beefalo there lost. That was pretty funny. And also, we still had the tree guards that were on us, and we just kind—I kind of let the tree guard. Or I'm sorry, I pulled the tree guards over to the swamp, and then the, there was beefalo there in the swamp, and they were, of course, in mating season. So they killed. Or they're attacking the tree guards right now. More than likely, the meat's going bad, which I want to get over there and see what's going on really quick. That'd be a that'll be a problem. And the reason I harvested all that meat there was I didn't want to let it spoil. I put the jerky on my inventory. I might put that inside the cooler. The jerky itself lasts forever. The jerky itself in a cooler will last even longer. I think this tree guard didn't attack a beefalo, so he's still angry with me. But yeah, these guys have been aggro to me for like days. We need to. We need to do something with the aggro here. So yeah, he's killing beefalo. I think he will de-aggro to us soon. So I'm just letting him kill the beefalo. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's I can't save the beefalo. I don't think he's aggro to me. But that one is. Um, I think the penguins... Yep, looks like the penguins are gone. Winter might be ending soon? I don't remember the exact day it started. I, I don't know. So let that tree guard do its thing. This one's not pissy with me anymore, so I'm gonna loot. I'm not gonna let him attack me, because I think he will one-hit me. If I don't have my armor on. So I'll play a little bit safe here. Sanity's not doing the greatest because of the day-night cycle. I mean, I am regening sanity, but it's not the greatest, like I've just said. So I don't know if honey regens my sanity. doesn't look like it. Jerky does. There's a few things to do, but... Let's just keep dancing with the tree guard here. Let's get all this beefalo meat before it goes bad. Oh god, look at all the beefalo meat. He killed like... F no, I don't want the fucking mosquito ball sack. That's disgusting. I think it's actually a blood sack. I don't actually think there's a use for that. I looked in the wiki and I actually thought it said it was like a useless item. So I really have no, no desire to get that. And the awesome thing now is beefalo are dying. Well, it's terrible the beefalo are dying, but the beefalo dying... We're getting a lot of beefalo horns. I'll be able to, one, call beefalo and have them follow me. Two, make a bunch of beefalo hats, which is really cool. So, you can probably skip, excuse me, they can probably skip out on the whole... Oh god, I don't, are you attacking me? Oh god, he's just moving. We could probably skip out on the whole winter hat thing. The beefalo hat is warmer. Basically, I need to find something to attack this tree guard. Because he will just follow me unless he aggroes something else. That's kind of a problem, because he'll come into my base. I can't tell if winter's ending. I mean, there's less snow, but I've seen like winter kind of fizzle out and come back again. So I'm not 100%. 20 freaking meat. Oh my god. So many dead beefalo. <laughs> like, I could just spam drying racks and just keep these forever, but... Oh my god. I could put them in my ice box, but again, they won't last that long, because meat itself doesn't have a very long shelf life. So what I'll do here is I'll just harvest all my jerky, throw a lot of that jerky into the drying rack. I'm sorry. Throw a lot of the meat into the drying rack. Put a lot of my jerky in the in the uh whatchamacallit there. The ice box. In hopes that it stays better longer. Seeds are going stale, I mean not much I can do about that. Uh let's roast the eggs. There's zero point in keeping these eggs. I could probably put those eggs in the crock pot and make bacon and eggs, but I've got su I've got such a surplus of food right now, it's kind of, like, terrifying. Like, I don't even know what to do with it all. I can't eat this food fast enough. <laughs> Holy crap. So do I, do I want to store the jerky and then eat the meat? Hmm. What do I want to do, man? I, I don't know. Now I've got all this honey. Like, I don't even need this honey anymore. Uh, still is winter, so I mean, it still would be beneficial to wear my, my hat here. Let's dip it in the beefalo fur. God, I'm just scared that that tree guard is working his way over here. That is such a problem. See, now it's snowing, so it's not the end of winter. That might have been like midwinter or 
some kind of small transition. That freaking tree guard. I'm trying to think of what I can do to get him, get him, all, get him off my ass. Uh, what do I do with this meat? I don't want to let it go bad. It's a good. It's gonna go bad unless I get drying racks. Like, there's no way I can eat this meat quick enough. There's just no way. Where's a tree guard? Oh god, I'm so worried. Okay, what to do? What to do? Okay, let's look at the map here. Where can I aggro that tree guard? I could take him down there. Maybe those beefalo are going at it, but I think beefalo all go into a mating season at the same time. There's penguins over here, but they're not going to attack the penguins unless the penguins attack them or unless they uh, hit the penguins. How can I... Oh, the mosquitoes are always aggro, but the mosquitoes aren't there anymore. What's a monster that's always aggro? Spider? Oh, I could pull them over to spiders, but spiders don't avidly attack things that aren't me. Shit! What do I do about the tree guards, guys? Oh, hey, look. Well, the map is showing me a fleshy bulb here and a fleshy bulb here. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I could pull them into the swamp, but the problem is the swamps are kind of not doing anything because it's winter. Oh, shit. What do I do? That tree guard's probably going to come into my base now. <sighs> First of all, problems. Uh, uh, beefalo horns. Okay, so let's check Chester's inventory. Actually, I think I put... Oh my god, I got four beefalo horns. I could go get a... Oh, I know what I could do. It's a terrible thing to do. But I could do it. And I'm going to. Okay, Chester. Give me your monster meat. Give me this. My sanity is just going to keep going down. That's awesome. I'm about to... I don't want to use my straw roll. I'm sorry, I don't want to waste my tent. Let's just do this. Let's sleep. I swear to God, if I wake up and there's a tree guard in my base, I want to scream like a little girl. That gives us perfect uses for our food. Let's go ahead and eat all that. Just devour those eggs devour them all. Okay. And I'm, I'll just bring the honey. Actually, yeah, the honey's gonna last a lot longer. Let's cook a few. Like eight. I don't know. It's probably way too many. That A-log. Just cook all this. It's a waste not to, you know, make it into jerky, but whatever. We've got way too much of it at this point. I can't use it all. Okay get over here. I just don't want to be my base because I don't want the tree guard to it to set off those traps. So, my terrible idea is, let's hope that the pigs are over here. Let's hope. They should be. I thought I saw them earlier. And let's feed them. It's now it stops snowing. If winter ends, that'd be fantastic. Oh, fuck! It's not a full moon! Why are they wear pigs? I could probably pull him over to the tree guard. Oh shit, son! Let's pull him over to the tree guard. If they want to, if they want to follow me over to the tree guard, we'll do that. They will. I probably will attack him. There's the tree guard. Oh god, are they going after the rabbits? Attack the tree guard! Attack the tree guard! Tree guard! Kill. So my plan is not going to work because apparently it's a full moon. Ew, they're eating rotten eggs. I don't know about that. Get distracted. Eat the seeds. Don't even care. They're just get away from you. They need to turn into regular pigs. I know they will. Like I know they'll turn into like that, like that, like right in front of me. They'll do it. Okay. So why aren't they awake? Damn. Let's go ahead and harvest some of these, some of this grass. We're gonna need it. What I want to do is get these pigs back and get them after the tree guards. Can I give it to them while they're sleeping? Sweet tits. This will work. I can wake them up from their naps. There. Sounds like the tree guard's actually swinging at something. He's killing the pigs. That should deaggro him to me. That should deaggro him to me. You probably killed the pig over here as well. Cool. That's all I wanted to use the monster meat for. I'm not even worried about these rabbit traps anymore. We got too much food. So the tree guard 
should no longer be mad at me. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Yep, that's what I wanted to do. My initial plan was to go feed the pigs and then attack the tree guard once, have them aggro him, and then I'll run away. And then, of course, they'll die, but it'll swap the aggro over to them, and then I don't have to deal with it anymore. It's it's terrible, but it's it works, okay? So let's not complain about it. Let's just see if there's any pigs chilling over here. Let's just get rid of this monster meat. Better be good. Better be good. You, you is good. You back off. You want any monster meat, bro? Me hungry, okay. Alright, guys should all be following me. Porky, Trajan, Trajan, and Attack. Well, somehow I don't think his name is Attack, so let's feed him. And they will actually be going home. Stay near. Oh, they'll follow me because of my torch. That's funny. Where's the tree guard? Where is the tree guard? Really should not attack the tree guard right now, but I kind of want to. Where'd he go? I don't think he's up here. Oh, well, there's no point in wasting my torch. Let's go ahead and plop down a campfire. Equip that. They'll stay here. Which is what I wanted to do, because as long as they're near the fire and they don't return home, I don't think their like, loyalty timer, or whatever you want to call it, will reset. So they'll keep staying with me. And I've, I've been needing to get grass. It looks like summer is returning. Well, actually spring would be returning. So, let's go ahead and take advantage of that. Get our grass. God, we got so much food and just... <laughs> I can't use this food fast enough. It's all going to go bad, and that upsets me. Wasteful. Why are they saying stay away? They're like by themselves. Fire is good. Where's that tree guard? I wonder if it's if it's possible to go to a pig village, have like 43 pigs be there, just give every single one of them some monster meat, and then go attack a tree guard. Like, what would happen? That would be fantastic. Would he win? How many pigs does it take to kill a tree guard? How many pigs does it take to get to the Tootsie Roll Stone with Tootsie Pop? I don't know. I don't think we'll ever find out. I, I could! I could go for it and try and make as absolutely many uh, pig huts as I can, but I think the world has a limited number of rocks. There is caves, and there are rocks down there, so that may be a possibility. Who knows? Maybe one day that is something I will try. I will mass a pig army, and we will kill the tree guards with pigs. It could, it could happen. I keep saying his name is Trajan, or Tr Trajan. I keep thinking Trojan. My mind, uh... Yeah, goes places. So, so right now I'm just waiting. I mean, it's gonna be dark here. I would like to keep the pigs with me for whatever reason. Where is Sodden? And I'm gonna actually roast up this meat. Scary! Oh, they're such babies. Let's go ahead and eat that meat there. Now we're all topped off. We're good there. We're Problem right now is sanity. Uh... Since I like to stay relatively prepared, I'm going to throw together another torch. I do like to have a few, as everybody knows. So they're still, according to the fact that they still have names, they're still loyal to me, or following me. I don't know if you would call it loyal. But, let's... Uh, do I want to go back to the pig village and get all the pigs that are there? Hmm, I don't think that would be enough. I think it would just go bad. Tree guards have so much health. Considering the damage that uh, the tree spikes, I'm sorry, the tree spikes, the tentacle spikes do to tree guards, and from what I saw, that tree guard is not going to go down to a few pigs. So, <laughs> we could use it to clear up some spiders. Is there any spiders nearby? I just kind of want to have some fun right now. I mean, I kind of want to celebrate the fact that one, winter's over, two, we survived a lot of that bullshit that was happening, and just want to have some fun. <laughs> So as soon as this uh, winter hat goes out, I do need to start gathering some... You can go the hell away. There's two of them. Holy crap. I do want to start gathering some feathers, of course, and getting a garland going. Wow, my sanity goes down quicker when I get close to those guys. Never knew that. Get out of here. Quit it. Quit playing your creepy music. Yeah, the, uh, the garland regens sanity a little bit quicker than the winter's hat, as far as I'm aware. So I'd like to get that. And it's going to be daylight here any time, any, any, at any time. Now let's just check Chester's inventory. Uh, yeah, Chester's empty, so 
I think if we cook these, these will last a little bit longer. And of course, we can probably give them to some pigs. I don't want to give them this meat. That's meat for me. Or dogs. They get dog food. No, I'm kidding. I get my dogs people food all the time. I'm terrible. <laughs> Alright. Lazy shits. Wake up. Be friendly. No! They reset. Come with me. They might turn into were pigs. Okay. I was gonna say, they might turn into were pigs because I'm giving them so much monster meat. That is a thing. If you give them too much monster meat, they'll turn into were pigs. So, let's actually. Let's have a little fun before we go home. Let's go do some exploring. I think winter's nearing an end, and there's the tree guard, so. Dare I do this? Let's do this to be safe. <laughs> They're just gonna get decimated, I know it. I think, they, I think they get two hit. You go smash! Porky, no! Porky's gonna die! Oh, there goes Porky. Tragedy, no! Such a tragedy! Eh. And I don't think he'll attack me because he was last aggro to them. So. Yep, we're gonna need a lot of pigs if we wanna do anything to a tree guard along those lines. But I do wanna go do some exploration. I mean, my inventory is. Eh, let's go empty it first. Chester's got a clean inventory, but with, with the recent addition of the pig skin and all the monster meat I got, I think I should clear that up. Maybe I'll take some, uh, some of those, uh, whatchamacallits. And by whatchamacallits, I mean those wormholes. Do some of that. Maybe I need to figure out, you know, where they all take me. So, let's go ahead and let's get some eggs. Yeah, I get my, my two eggs. I'll cook those up. Not that I need to cook them up. I could actually do this. I think this will be better because I don't want to waste my meat. I think this, and let's go to my chest here, my ice box. I mean, the meat's still staying good, the honey's still staying good, but the, the raw meat isn't lasting very long. I think that'll give me honey ham. I could be wrong. Uh, we need logs. So let's go ahead and do this. Two, get those going. Got it. I can make like a beefalo corral now. I <laughs> beefalo corral. It's gonna happen. Got so many beefalo horns. We can keep lowering beefalo over. Let's see what happens with this crockpot though. So that got nice and toasty. Let's cook these eggs. Might as well get rid of them. Oh God. Come on, crockpot. What you got? What you got for me? And the uh, winter's hat's about to go. So didn't I put pe petals in here? There they go, look at that. I'll be able to make a garland. Oh, there it is. It did it. It's honey ham. That's the honey hams. That's awesome. So, rather than letting this go bad, let's make honey ham. And this will heal me immensely. And I believe just fill the crap out of my hunger bar. Like, I think that'll just feed me for like a day. <laughs> There's a lot of inventory management I need to do here, guys, but I think I'm going to actually just make my garland now. I think we're good. I think winter's coming to an end. You can see the temperature's actually going up. So where's the garland? It's a nice wall. I think I can fix this. Okay, let's put that on. Let's just plop the winter hat down. That's all right. So we're getting more sanity back. That's what I want to see. We'll go explore with the meat we have on us. I think we'll be fine. We're gonna need some more grass, and I do need some more logs. So before I go explore, let's go chop a few trees. I mean, two is not enough for a campfire. I just want to get that. I should probably actually leave the honey ham in there. I bet it's much like the beef jer the beef jerky there, in the sense that it doesn't go bad. That's probably another like little meta game strategy you can do, kind of cheese it a little bit, mid maxing, but it's still fun. So ho hopefully we don't spawn another tree guard because if we do, well then we have to go get more pigs. Oh man, that that is. I think that's gonna become a goal for me. I think what I'm going to have to do is amass an army of pigs and do my best to just have them take out a tree guard. Like it'll probably go horrible considering they attack once, run away, come in for run come in for another attack and then die. Because like I think they get two hit. So yeah. Let's chop this one down. We'll get the the shovel out. We're gonna start root rooting the stumps. And we're gonna start making some progress over to the left. Of course my sanity goes down because it's dark. Wilson, why are you afraid of the dark, man? What's terrible is, I know that if I die, I won't get enough XP 
to unlock every single character that is unlockable with XP. There's a few characters you have to do certain things, like Wes and Maxwell. There's like certain things you have to do to actually unlock them. But if I were to die, I would unlock every single character. Now, if I came into this game and I suck, if I sucked at it and I died like within like three days, I would unlock a new character and we could could have given them a shot. But basically, I'd have to go back now and make new characters, and I'd have every single one unlocked. It's kind of weird. Like if I sucked, I died. I would probably play as a different character just to show you guys the character. But I mean, like now if I die, I have like 20 characters I have to show you. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's funny. Oh, I'm enjoying this game, and I'm doing my damnedest to just not die. Like, I am I'm playing it way safe, and it's probably pissing some people off. They're probably telling me to take some risks. I mean, shit, with, 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 with the uh, with the football helmet and the log suit combination, I could probably have no issue surviving in the caves. The thing is, I have to worry about light, so I'd probably have to sacrifice the football helmet for... I, uh, lantern hat or something, but I mean, even with a log suit, that's still a lot of damage reduction. And I'm gonna get over here near my my, my uh, lightning rods. So, what I think I might do is, given the recent fact that I, I remembered that this is a way to cheese the game, I'm gonna leave that in there, let the honey ham stay in the crock, but I'm not gonna harvest it, just knowing that, you know, that's a uh, kind of an easy way to keep food stable. And wow, it's snowing again. Maybe it's not winter, or maybe winter's not over. Hmm. I'm not getting cold, though, because the temperature's, you know, way up there. Let's go ahead and add this. Whew. What the hell? Uh, in the next episode, though, I'm definitely going over to the left. There's a whole lot of stuff that needs exploring there. But let's see if there's anything we can do here in base, because I don't think there's enough time to venture out between this episode and the next. Unless, of course, I want to camp the night there. So there's niter. There's room for niter in there. Didn't I put some niter over here? I did indeed. Okay, there's some cuts down. There's a lot of flint. Like, holy shit, I, I have so much flint. Uh, silk. I should probably go plant these fleshy bulbs. I think I'll do that. Do the tool break, or do I just not have my spear equipped? I just didn't have my spear equipped. Okay. So... What I'll do here in the next day is I'm going to plant some of those fleshy bulbs. I don't really need these rabbits, to be 100% honest with you. They're, they're, there's no harm in keeping them. It's kind of like emergency food, but... Yeah. Shawl hat doesn't do much for me. It doesn't actually restore sanity or anything. So many lo or so many twigs. Grass right now is my limiting factor. I seem to use a lot of grass. I, know, I, I have not been stocking up on logs. I've been using them as I've been getting them, basically. Still need to place my cobblestone roads. So there's the uh, the honey ham, and looks like winter's really over again. I think winter's kind of fizzling out. If you had to ask me, no stale seeds. You know, I really haven't been doing too much with the farms. <laughs> I kind of been getting away with other things, and it's getting very dark. So I think I'll grab this, knowing that there's not much time left of the night. Well, not any time left, and that means it's summer, given the color of my screen. So that's cool. What I think I'll do is let's let's get this a little bit away from the pigs. Actually, you know what? The fleshy bulbs. Let's put them here. I don't want them too close to the rabbits. Let's put them in there. And let's put this one. This one's actually this actually used to be like right around here. Let's put that one there, just so we can get like leafy meat if we ever desire it for some odd reason. So there's the tree guard. Uh, there's no point in having this heat stone on me anymore given the fact that it's summer. But let's go ahead and venture down here a little bit, and then we'll wrap this one up, guys. God, there's so many tree guards. we got to do something about this. i got to set up some kind of convoluted way to kill them. I could kill them with tooth traps. Like, it, it would be... Oh, wow, I burned one of the totally normal trees down. Crap, that sucks. I really burned a lot down. <laughs> oh, my God, I did. There's a lot of beefalo here, and there's no shortage of beefalo in this world. A lot of poop I'm passing over. That's something I could use the pigs for, is taking out these spider nests. Let's see if we can't find ourselves a tall bird before we wrap this one up. I know this is all unexplored down here. Lots of beefalo. Let's grab the grass. I should probably start grabbing grass tufts, to be honest with you. Let's go ahead and do that. I mean, it's not like I'm ever really going to come down here often. 
Unless, of course, there's something amazing. Who knows? I haven't been down here before. So we made it through our third winter. Third winter already. Day 109. I'm I'm a little happy. I'm a little proud of myself. <laughs> Never imagined I'd live this long. That's, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and just dig all this up. Screw it. Let's get what we can. I hear a gobbler. Is there a turkey near here? Is there a berry bush? We near a different biome? I definitely heard a turkey. Shovel's about to go out here. Got seven more uses out of it. Oh man, I love the uh, the golden tools. Definitely gonna have to do... Oh, that's something I can do with my meat before it goes completely bad. That's a good idea. I wish I came... wish I thought of that earlier. The, uh, the tufts. Not the tufts, what am I smoking? I'm, yes, I'm getting tufts right now. But the meat, you can give it to the pig king. And we'll get, a uh, We'll get gold back. Let's put this in Chester now. We don't need it. I will take that rope gladly. You can't duplicate backpacks. You can't carry two on you. There's zero point in picking it up. So I will actually just leave that there. There's no harm in having a straw roll on us. I, I will keep that gladly. But, oh, there's a suspicious dirt pile. Now let's examine it. Tracks left by food. I mean an animal. Wish I could actually find the damn qualifant. I have had no luck so far. There is a sister pile. Okay. Who knows? If we find it before the end of this episode, I will kill it, even if it makes the episode go longer. That's okay with me. A little bit of render time. Who cares? Of course, now we're not going to find it. <laughs> uh, looks like this is the edge of the map. Okay, so that's good to know. I should just keep following the edge then. See if we can, of course, find the the koala tracks here. I mean, I've been talking about the koala elephant for twenty some episodes, a hundred some days in. You can find that thing within like the first day. I mean, if you get lucky enough and just happens to be where you go, then there you go, you found him. But he's kind of been elusive for me, a little bastard. I've been saying bastard a lot lately. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, foul mouth. I know. Can't really help it sometimes kind of a combination of being excited and being happy. So, don't know where the uh, tracks are. That stinks. I'm checking the uh, the black areas here on the map, so I keep pressing tab. So, of course, the days are still a little bit wonky. It's not, it's not quite summer yet. It's like early spring. But the fact that there's no snow and I don't have to worry about staying warm right now, that makes me happy. So if there's any tracks, they'll be over here to the left. If not here, I'll have to wrap it up. But another successful episode. We got the tree guard off our ass. That makes me happy. <laughs> got more meat than we know what to do with. Which, I'm happy about it. You bet. I'm not starving. Hey, look, there you go. Uh, I'm happy about it because I'm not starving. But it sucks because it's going to go to waste. Unless I can get it to the pig king or something. Uh, let's go ahead and eat this. And there's another qualifin track. Come on. The problem with me is that whenever it gets really dark, I can never see the track. Uh, where are you, Trax? Where are you? Koala Fent. Where is you, buddy? Where be the Koala Fent? Where for art thou? <laughs> I can go all day. I just want to kill this thing. Oh, there's a track. I think it's like a matter of speed of how quick you can find the thing. Tracks left by food. I mean an animal. Okay. Yeah, 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 spiders. I know you're a thing. You're jerks. We get it. Jerks. Tracks up by food. I mean, an animal. I say that every time, I know. Oh, there's another one already. Come on. Come on. Ah! The track is fresh. It's nearby. It's got to be here somewhere. There he is! Guys, the elusive qualifant! Now all you have to do is corner him. The problem is he's not a winter qualifant, so we're not going to get the, the better trunk. But that's meat and other things. Corner him, corner him, corner him, corner him, corner him, corner him. No, no, you bastard! That was like the perfect spot. You know what I gotta do is I know I have a torch in my backpack, but I want to make one on me. Yes, cornered. Die. The problem is I don't want to. I don't want to drop his items in the water, so I moved. He'll go down here shortly. He doesn't have that much health. There we go. We got him. 
The problem is we only got the koala fin trunk, which isn't a problem, but we didn't get the winter one. The winter one gives you the breezy vest, I think is what it's called, or no, no, this is the breezy vest. The other one's like the puffy vest. It's better. It's basically a better vest. But wow, we finally got the koala fin. I'm happy. It only took us a thousand episodes. I'm just going to drop this torch. I'm feeling confident enough that I can just chuck that without worry. So, I believe this was episode 29, guys. Forgive me if I'm wrong in that one. I'm pretty sure it's 29. But if it isn't, yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm sorry. But finally got the koala fin. That's, I'm kind of happy about that. I wanted to show you it, but I never actually got around to finding him. So I'll show you what the, the qualifant trunk's used for in the next episode. I can cook it, which is kind of a waste, so I'm not going to. You can make you can make clothing out of this trunk. I, I don't get it, but it works. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.